what you mean. Breaking through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Awesome. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just wanna hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time. Let me have back with another reading for Luminescent. Thank you so much for tuning in. This message will be for Gemini energy. So this is for wherever you have Gemini in your chart, whether it's a placement or your actual Gemini house. Um, this message is for you. It is a general reading. So if you would like something more specific to you, um, personal readings are available. You can contact me directly through email or IG on uh, Instagram. Or you can um, book on my square reader link, which is in my link tree. Um, please read the description in the readings that you do choose so that you're aware of the pre-recorded message in the turnaround time. So um, again, this message will be um, a general spread for Gemini energy. If it applies, great. If it don't, let it fly. Thank you for stopping by, all that goodness. So um, this is a transformation reading for Gemini Energy for the month of April. So what um, transformation is going to take place for Gemini Energy in the month of April? What transformation is taking place for Gemini Energy in the month of April? What transformation energy is taking place? What needs to change for principles? What is supporting this change? Eight of Swords. What is blocking or slowing you down? King of Cups. What major spiritual lesson is here? Five of Pentacles. And the outcome or sign of progress? chariot Ooh. okay victory okay overall energy the ace of pentacles at the bottom let's see okay energy. okay so i'm using the modern witch tarot both tarot and the mystic rebel oracle deck for affirmations so what needs to change is what it is you holding on to? Attachment. When you let this, you have an ace of pentacles at the bottom, right? So when you let this pentacle go, you get another one. But if you let, when you let this one go, I feel like you're not losing anything. You're not losing it. You're actually getting more when you open your arms. Which makes sense with this five of pentacles here being your spiritual lesson um getting out of having a lack mentality feeling like you're losing something or you're losing someone you're not losing anything you will never really truly lose anything energy is never lost or destroyed it is completely transformed into something new okay all right let's look at this four of pentacles what needs to change We got the Seven of Cups and the Arts card, which is Temperance in this deck. So I feel like you want to travel somewhere or you want to go somewhere, but um, there's a possibility of you needing to let go of this 
like you really, really it's like an ex it, it really feels escapism to me like you're trying to escape or you're trying to go somewhere you're trying to jump from one timeline to another timeline but you're trying to hold on and take everything that you have right now with you and you can't do that you the only way to jump timelines is to completely be at peace and acceptance with what's in front of you right now you can't wish that you had you know this type of lifestyle but you want all the things that you still have in your life attached to you the what's your what you're attached to or what you're holding on to is what's blocking you from actually being able to move on so um the eight of swords is what's supporting you which is your energy the eight of swords is gemini energy but this card talks about um you basically tying yourself up or allowing yourself to be tied up in a situation where you can't move but you can just walk out freely whenever you want to so the fact that this is your supporting energy where you can walk away whenever you want to you can open your arms whenever you want to and accept more and i feel like you you may be aware of that or you know that and or if you didn't know that because she is blindfolded if you didn't know that, you need to know that. You will start to know that. People will continue, will start to tell you that. Um, even though you can't take your current situation with you into a new situation, you can't do it that way. But what you can do is open your mind to all the different ideas. And I feel like that's what this card is talking about your support with supporting your need to open your arms and accept something new is the fact that you have the ability to make this change whatever you want it to be like literally manifest whatever it is you, i feel like we overuse the word manifest now but what's supporting this change is the fact that all you got to do is open your eyes to all the different possibilities of what your life will be like when you open yourself up to this ace of pentacles when you accept it this new life this new money this new job or maybe the release of one see yeah we got the ten of uh cups you need to look at how happy you will be you need to pay attention to the higher vibration of what this change will mean for you ace of pentacles plus the four equals five five equals change which is here by the way we're getting to that though we're getting to it but what's supporting you is the fact that you can walk out the situation unharmed and be happy like you don't know how relieved and how much your dreams are going to be fulfilled when you take the blindfold off and see that what you were trying to do that wasn't working wasn't working for a good reason <laughs> so what's blocking or slowing you down is this king of cups um king of cups is someone who's kind hearted um this is someone who is um patient um they are emotionally um they are emotional <laughs> they're sensitive um they're receptive perceptive highly intuitive psychic also but um the fact that this is someone who's slowing or blocking you it's someone who loves you it is someone who loves you or you love them or vice versa why is this king of cups slowing down Gemini energy five of pentacles or five of discs in this deck worry okay so you may really want to go be with someone like you really really go be with someone but you want to take everything you have with your life with you to go be in that location or with that person but what's and what's supporting you with this transformation is the fact that you, you you know you'll be happy you have all these ideas about how you can be happy and how it's going to change your life and how you're going to be so happy but this person you have an emotional attachment to um is blocking or slowing you down because maybe 
um like you're in love with this person you want to accept them but you feel like they're lying to you or they're holding something back um they may be holding back or slowing down the relationship that you have with each other because they don't have the type of money that they wish to have um they can't you know provide for you financially the way that they really want to so your dreams and your ability to give up um being with this person or going with this person or traveling somewhere you really want to go is because the money situation isn't the way that it needs to be yet it's not there yet so because they're not moving on that account that means you can't move on the account so it could be like a parent or um it could be a partner um or this could be you you might be the person um that wants to get out and explore and do this and that but your money isn't where it needs to be in order for you to move into that space so therefore <laughs> there needs to be a change and what's funny is that the five of this which is the five of pentacles clarifying what's blocking you is also the spiritual lesson okay five of pentacles and then we got the page uh, i'm sorry yeah the princess of wands which is the page of wands so um yeah interesting interesting gemini energy so what's actually blocking or slowing you down is the person you love doesn't have the money or the funds to do exactly or the material or they may feel like this about themselves they don't feel like they're worthy or they have enough or they are enough to change the situation that you guys have together but the spiritual lesson for you this is a spiritual lesson for you <laughs> that this person that you love that you want to be with they're working on their money situation is a lesson for you because you also <laughs> need to be working on your money situation you also need to be working on your self-worth you also need to be working on how you can progress with either your business your family um and this is about um the five of pentacles is about releasing or surrendering to your higher power your your the highest power there there is so that you can receive the material goods that you're looking for and the person that you really want to you know do something with they're going through this change they're realizing that you know hey i can do anything i want but i have to connect to my higher power i have to connect to my higher source in order to allow these changes to happen and this may be blocking or slowing you down for whatever reason but it's because it's and it's drawing you so much attention or it's, it's, it's calling to your attention where in your life you're having the same issues with yourself. So you essentially are learning through this person that you're emotionally connected with that you have, to, there are things in your life that, you know, maybe one particular place in your life where you need to surrender to your higher power and allow that power or allow source god goddess to change your circumstances for you so that it's able to happen the way that it's meant to um you may have been an influence on this person learning this lesson um and vice versa i feel like because you have this emotional connection you're both are connected to this energy you're both learning this lesson in, in some way or another but it may be in different areas of life where they're experiencing this in one particular situation and you're experiencing this with them in the situation you have with them. But the fact that the page of wands of, um, is here, the princess of wands is here, is meaning there. this is a message for you. Um, it could be a foreshadow of things to come that, um, you know, don't judge someone according to what they think they can or cannot do because you may feel like you can really get yourself out of the situation if you want to and have everything you want but it may only be you feeling like you know you would be happy if they would just get out their head 
and look up and pray and move on and do the spiritual work they're doing the spiritual work they're doing the spiritual work you didn't lose them but they are doing the spiritual work now it's time for you to take your own advice and do the work for yourself too because it's going to come everything that you feel like this person could be doing to make your life easier you're going to have to learn the lesson that you know you have to do the same thing okay so the outcome is a sign of progress with this chariot card there's victory here okay last chariot a sign of progress okay and we have the end Okay, Neptune energy here. So we got two majors, okay? And this is a sign of new life. There's a new um, timeline that's being created here. Okay, so you and this person may be walking different paths now. Um, the relationship you guys have together, you probably had since you were younger, but the relationship that you have is going to evolve and change but there may be distance between you right now because you're both going through a lesson that needs to be learned but it's the, it's the same lesson it just happened in the different areas of your life and it's separating you because you both need to figure out how to surrender how to let go and know that it's no one's fault or it's nothing nobody's you know to blame it's just that you both are on a journey that may have nothing to do with each other you know what i'm saying you may have been friends with someone for a very long time and you feel like they could do more they could do this but they are on a totally different path you're unaware of so you becoming upset with them that they can't do certain things with you anymore because they have something else going on it can ruin the relationship if you allow it if you can look past all the physical bullshit that makes you feel like you're left out or they're left out the situation if you can look past that because no one's left out there's victory here at the end of this it's a victory a whole new timeline for the both of you so don't punish or judge someone that you truly love for being on their path that they're meant to be on and you're on the path that you're meant to be on okay things work out for a specific reason so just accept that okay and we have create and express here yes so you may want to express to this person how you feel they also will want to express to you how they feel but this is the transformation here is like you you guys are opening a whole new doorway to worlds that you have not tampered with yet you have yet to alchemize different situations so the ace of pentacles that's being given to you gemini energy is that when you let go of what you think the reality should be you get to choose what journey you take moving forward you get to take off the blindfold free yourself and be happy of all the ideas that you now have before you that you didn't even get a chance to take before but now you can and the people that you love and that you have an emotional connection with yes things will change with them yes you guys will separate and go on different paths but that's a spiritual lesson that you need to learn when it comes to new opportunities you will have to give up in order to receive you have to give in order to receive okay and the sign of progress being made in this transformation and that you end up victorious on your new path you have a whole new timeline ahead of you you have a whole new world a whole new life to explore so create and express yourself create and express all of this transformation that's taking place put it into your art put it into your music put it into you know how you carve how you define how you paint how you sing how you write that's what all of this is for that's the lesson is that you get to transform and move to a higher understanding of the reason of why you're here you have to see it play out in someone else's life first because when the lesson comes to you you gonna have to look at that person and be like man you know what I felt or I've had all these ideas about what I thought would make me happy about if they did what I wanted them to do, but they had to stick to their plan. 
And now in my life, I have to do the same thing with someone else. Okay? And that's all it is. It's time for you to create and express who you truly are for the month of April moving forward. Thank you so much, Gemini Energy, for tuning in. Have a good one.